We can use spectroscopes to see all the colours that make up white light from the sun and the unique colour patterns in light from light bulbs and other light sources. Here are all the materials you're going to need to make your spectroscope. You'll need a cardboard box, shoe boxes work really well, a tube such as a kitchen roll tube or two toilet roll tubes stuck together, I've got a piece of wrapping paper tube, a CD, some scissors, a pen, some masking tape or coloured tape, some cellar tape, and if you've got an adult helping you out, a knife might be useful. Our first job is to cure our CD inside of our box. And we're going to be putting it on one of the short edges of our box so that the shiny side faces into the box and we're going to push it right up into that corner that so hits that outside edge and secure it in place with some sellotape. You'll then need to cut off any parts of your box that will block the CD when you fold it back up again. So I've got a flap here that I'm going to need to cut off. We can then close our box up again. This time we're going to be working on the front of our box. So my CD is here. I'm going to turn my box over and I'm going to be cutting a hole in this part of the box. So my hole is going to be here and my CD is inside here. Now this is going to be the hole to put our tube in. I've got my tube here. We are going to draw around our tube one tube width in from the side. Draw around our tube and then we're going to draw around it again halfway lapping over from the circle we've just drawn. So it'll look a little bit like a Venn diagram, two circles overlapping. We're then going to cut out this oval shape that we make if we draw a line across the top and bottom of those two circles. We've got this oval shape here that we're going to cut out and that is where our tube is going to be going. Our tube is then going to slide into the hole on an angle and point towards our corner with this CD in it. We can put some tape on to keep this in place. Masking tape or coloured tape is best because we don't want any light inside the box. Okay, so we've got our viewing tube and we've got our CD in already. This time we're going to be making a hole in our box on this side of the box. So my CD is here. I'm going to go right the way across the other side, turn my box over and we're going to be putting a hole here, which is directly opposite where our CD is, as close to the corner as I can get it. So I'm just going to draw a little rectangle and just as before if you've got an adult's help you could use a craft knife to cut this hole out. Okay so now I've got my hole in my box. Now the only light we want coming into our box is through that hole that we've just cut on that side, that little slit. So we need to look through our tube and make sure we cover up all of the other areas where light is coming through. Keep checking through your tube to see where the light is coming from. Once you're happy that you've blocked all of the light apart from the light coming from that slit we cut in the box, your spectroscope is ready to use. Point it at the sky and find some daylight have a look through and see what you can see. Make sure you don't point it directly at the sun because this can damage your eyesight. You could also try some different light sources. Try some different light bulbs in your house. 
maybe a candle flame if you've got adult supervision. See if this changes the colours you can see inside your spectroscope. If you can't see a rainbow inside your spectroscope, you might need to move your tube around. Give it a wiggle, see if you can find that rainbow. If not, you might need to make your hole that we cut in the side where your tube goes in slightly longer or slightly wider so that you can move your tube and find that rainbow pattern inside your spectroscope. So what's actually happening? When you look through your spectroscope, you are seeing an emission spectrum. When the light hits your CD, it's diffracted. This means that the white light coming into your box is split up into different colours. When we look at the sunlight, we can see all the colours of the rainbow. Other light sources, like light bulbs, sometimes only use a few colours that add up to look white. Spectroscopes are often used in astronomy. Astronomers can use spectroscopes to work out what stars are made from. Stars are made up from lots of different elements and each element has its own fingerprint. When we look at stars through spectroscope, we see black strips on the spectrum. These are known as absorption lines. Astronomers and scientists can use these absorption lines to work out what elements the stars are made from.